Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It's Asana Home and today I'm sharing with you a book that I created for a girl and it's a personalized book just for her. It's called Fantastic Maths and I have some fun maths activities for her. She is four and gonna turn five. So let's get going. So the first activity says find the word, look at the shapes. Now match them with the words that describe them. You have the shapes and you have them written here in words. She needs to find the right one for the right uh, shape and she needs to match it. Uh, she's in pre-K guys. She's going in kindergarten. So this is like uh, a UKG kid going in... No. Sorry, an LKG kid going to UKG. Like primarily for that. Uh, going forward, I have make sum of five. Her mom told me that she likes to do addition and subtraction. So I have tried incorporating a few activities of that. Each section shows number of objects. Count them, make them to five. Use addition here by drawing circle, triangle or rectangle. It very clearly shows in terms of picture depiction. She needs to find and see which one is missing, how many are missing, and then she needs to draw. So I have four here and four here. So there are total eight problems that she needs to solve. Okay, minus take away subtraction. Match the left to the right for correct answer. So you have six questions here, and I think you have six questions here. You have the solution right here. You have to match. It's not always you have to take out the solution. It's also to interpret the same thing here in a different way. So you have three minus three that goes right here. She needs to tag it together. Five minus one, five, one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three. Five minus one, it's right here, it's four. So she will be counting because this is one, two, three, four, five, one gone. How many left? One, two, three, four. So she is looking at the sum. She's finding the five. She's counting it right here. Then she's cutting it out. Then the answer, there are four or five things that she's doing at the same time by just solving one question. And I mean, I can totally tell you this is the right kind of activities that you need to do with your kids to just trigger the thinking. It's not they get the answer right or wrong. It's only the thinking or the way the things are done. Okay, moving forward, I have subtraction or less. Count the numbers of objects then subtract the numbers shown. Find your own, uh, find your answer on the opposite page. So you have all the answers right here. I have six um uh, toes or footprints right here and she needs to subtract five so once she does that she, we have a number right here she needs to find what's the right answer and then she needs to find and needs to write the number right here mark the number on the circles which matches to the question so like that we have one two three four five six seven of them right here and then we have the answers and it very clearly says the time that you have to subtract okay uh, find the missing number. There's a number missing. Catch him and complete the line. So there is in between, uh, after, not something to categorize that we are doing in between or after or before, but just to reinforce the numbers the way we do. So she might be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then writing eight. But I think that's a perfect way because I'm not teaching her to do in between right now. I am just reinforcing the counting or the number so that she gets very easy and it comes very naturally to her so i've given 13 14 15 she needs to write then 12 13 14 she needs to write and just to make it a little more challenging i did go up to 30 here and i think if it's gonna be difficult for her her mom can help her out or she can always do it later Okay, a pattern building. She really enjoyed the pattern building which I made for her last time. So I just went a step forward and I added a little more complication here, which is A, A, B, B, C, C, A, 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 B, B, A, 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 B, C, A, B, C again. So there are five options here and then there are the dashes that she needs to complete by either uh, drawing or by writing. Like when I say writing is in the number and drawing or coloring is by the using the same kind of color and then finishing the code. Okay, then it says connect the correct design with another one. So you have six designs here and their pieces are incomplete. So you have to find the right one here and then match it to the correct one to complete the design. Uh, do not think that it's very, very easy for kids 
uh, lines and patterns and designs can be very deceiving. They might see all of them very similar. So I think it's going to be a great activity for her to do. Okay, this is super cute. More or fewer. Penny and Peter wants to play. Penny goes first. Peter goes second. They both are placing chips. Let's write down how many fewer or more. Okay, I give a hint. Penny had pasted three or had put three chips. Peter had put one. So two fewer. So that's what she needs to do. Like the green one Penny did. And then this is green. Then goes pink. Then goes pink. Then goes yellow. Then goes yellow. Then goes orange. Then goes orange. So she needs to write here whether it's fewer or more. So that's going to be the answer. I think it's going to be pretty nice, interesting, colorful, a very different concept where two kids and it's like an engagement thing where two people are doing an activity together. Okay, then there's tally chart and graph. Uh, I made a very simple one, not going overboard. Uh, just wanted to check if she likes something like this so that I can do continue for her next book activities. Count and notice each picture carefully and place them on the graph in form of O, o or like O dots, like just a circle or something and write them on tally charts. So what she has to do in tally charts, she needs to count and she needs to write the total number. And in graph, she needs to dot and put the numbers right here. So like if you have two dinosaurs, the dinosaur is right here. She needs to put one dot and one dot just to showcase there are two dinosaurs. There are three three so one two three and a three number is going to come here and two is going to come here so that's how it's going to work out and then you have random adding numbers adding and subtraction numbers over the clouds basic simple activity with nine plus one nine plus three eight plus two three plus four seven minus five six minus three for her to do it guys if you have any questions do let me know and just one more reinforcement i am doing printables of all the books that i have and if you want any printables um do let me know in the comment section below if you have friends and families who are looking for such great activities to do with their kids or in the school please share my channel with them you can follow me on instagram and facebook i have my links below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe thanks for watching guys see you next time